The crime scene has been secured, and there is no danger of outside forces tampering with his evidence. It's now time for S number two. Separate the witnesses. Now, you may be wondering, why do we need to separate the witnesses? This is so they don't influence each other's retelling of the crime. Now, this step is to be carried out by first responders and crime scene investigators. They talk to each witness, having them retell the crime from their point of view. I saw the victim get stabbed, and the red-looking suspect went north. The victim was shot at, and the suspect ran southwest. I saw the poor dude on the floor get stabbed many times, and the guy that had the knife ran that way north. After that, the investigators will use these testaments, along with the evidence at the scene, to piece together the timeline of the events that led up to the crime. Okay, from what we've gathered, the victim was sitting by the signal. Then, the suspect wearing red came up, stabbed him six times, and ran off going north. Without this crucial step, the investigation would be near impossible to solve. Oh.